Hey everyone, how you doing? So this is the Scout theme PCB badge modeled after the Scout regiment from Attack on Titan. Previously, I have made a similar PCB badge which also was themed after one of the three regiments from Attack on Titan. You can check it out from here. I have modeled this badge in my Orcad PCB suit first which took time and effort but after finalizing the board, I sent it to PCB way for samples. I received the badges and started the assembly process which was quite easy as this board only have a few components. But before showing you guys the whole assembly process, let's first see this neat trick. I have bought bunch of this brooch pin which is made from brass. We can solder brass if we add enough flux between it and a copper pad or wire. In my case, I made a rectangular pad for soldering this brooch pin onto my PCB badge so I could wear it or add it to my backpack. Previously, I have tried to do the same thing with my AOT military themed badge but I did a mistake in its design and made a slot instead of a pad so I was not able to add this brooch pin with that badge. What I'm trying to say here is, we can add this brooch pin to any PCB by adding a soldering pad for it and turning that PCB into a wearable device. After completing the design, I uploaded the Gerber data on the PCB waste code page. I selected the solder mask color which was white and placed the order. After placing the order, I received the PCBs in a week and the PCB quality was pretty great. This shape is completely random so it's pretty hard to make but they did an awesome job of making this PCB with no error whatsoever. PCB way you guys rock. You can check out PCB wave if you want great PCB service at an affordable rate and low price. PCB assembly will include the following steps. The first step is to apply solder paste to each component pad. I use a normal tin lead solder paste which have a melting temperature from 140 degrees to 270 degrees celsius. I then use a ESD tweezer to carefully pick and place each component on their assigned place one by one which took really like 30 second tops but the result was a perfect PCB with all the components placed in their place in the right orientation. After the pick and place process, I carefully lifted the whole circuit board and then placed it on my DIY SMT hot plate, which was also homemade just like this project. After few minutes, when the hot plate reaches the solder paste melting temperature, all the components will get soldered by this hot plate reflow process. As for the LEDs, I will be using 0603 package LEDs, 18 of them. But the twist here would be that I won't be using these LEDs in their normal orientation. I will be soldering them in an upside down position so their glow would face the FR4 board which have a solder mask opening on both sides. This opening will transfer the glow from the back side to the front side. To solder each LED, I first added solder to one side. Then we pick and place the LED in its place and melt the solder we just placed. And it will hold the LED in its place from one side. Then we add solder to the other pad and this will secure the LEDs from the both side. And the LED will be completely held down on its pad. Now we just solder the rest of LEDs one by one by following the same method. After soldering all the LEDs, we soldered the THT components which are the brooch pin, connector to vertical pin, the DC slide switch and the coin cell holder. And our badge is finally completed. Partially as we still have to add blink sketch to make this board flash. The programming part is relatively simple as well. I've built an ATtiny tiny programmer that utilizes an Arduino Nano as an ISP programmer sketch that can turn any Arduino into a serial flasher. Check more from here. After programming, our badge is finally ready. 
Now we just put a coin cell on the coin cell holder and turn on the switch. And the badge is working. We can see the glow of LEDs through the PCB. This glow thing is possible only if we remove the top and bottom layer solder mask and add LEDs in an inverted position. It's a manual process that required hand soldering. I've made many projects based on this method that you can check out. Thanks PCBWay for supporting this project. You can check out PCBWay for getting great PCB service at a less cost. If you made it to the end of this video, then you're awesome. And I'll be back with the last AOT regiment batch soon.